Okay, today we'll be opening up this Use Supertech ST oil filter, number ST6607. And I got this Use Supertech oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Ken from Georgia. Thanks, Ken. This oil filter was in service for four months, 9,000 miles, and came off of Ken's wife's 2020 Honda Pilot. Yep, the one with the 3.5 liter V6 engine which now has 63,000 miles. She was using Costco's Kirtland brand 0W20 oil during this period. Let's open up this used Supertech oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. This is the network. You got a really good silicone, be nice and tight. Get your hand in here. Filtration everywhere here. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. Day code? 061923AB, product of USA. This is a sticker. Sticker on here. And we got, let me take this out. Catch in the oil. We got 13 inlet holes. Nylon center core, bypass valve down below. Three grooves there for threads. And a nitro rubber gasket which I'll put the thickness up on the screen. Pretty good sized gasket. Okay, we'll put that to the side. Now let's open this filter up. There. Oh. And not much oil in it. All right, it, this is just the slivers of paint coming off when I was cut it open. But there ain't your back valves fits on there nice. Nitro rubber looks good, no slits or anything. Yeah, that's just paint. Okay, get all those inlet holes, it's nice. Yeah, filter all of it. Oh, that looks kind of squished. Looks like you got squished in there. I'll take a look in a second. That fit right in there tight. That looks squished. There's usually a little bit, little bit of a bend to them. You know, kind of flattened out. Add some more paint sliver. Okay, metal end caps. I don't see no excess glue. That's nice. Yeah, the pleats look nicely spaced. I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. Got a glued seam right there. This is just this more paint. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And this is a natural and synthetic filter media with a micron rating of 99% for particles greater than 30 microns. Okay, that all looks good. And um can. Well, I don't really see any sludging in here or anything. It looks looks pretty good. I'll have this sitting like that. This can though didn't want to open up. Look at how it opened up. All messed up. And sometimes that happens. I don't know. It's a thin can. I'll put the thickness of this can up on the screen. Yeah, it didn't want to open up too good. Okay, let me get the width of this filter media. Okay, we got one, one point nine six minus a tenth of an inch. Okay, so let's uh, open this up, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like. Be right back.
Okay, here's the filter all stitched out. And this filter is 37 and a half inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness of this filter media. 0.74 millimeters thick. Okay, this is the filtering side, back side. And I took two pictures of this filter under a microscope because uh, the first picture I took was really, really dark. You couldn't really see through this. It's, it's filled with a lot of soot and carbon. So there's gonna be one picture with it, with the light f facing on the filter media and one with it trying to face from underneath. So let's take a look at that picture. So if you look really close at that picture, you're gonna see a lot of, a lot of like soot and carbon on, on this filter. And you can actually see how dark it is. Look at it up close, you'll see how dark it is. But it's not really any soot that's on the outside. It's more like inside the filter media itself. But you can see like when I squeeze it, how the creases came out clean. So there's probably some dirty oil in there also, but those could be a couple of sparklies. But actually there's not much there's not much here for sparklies. I don't see any really. But it is a dark filter. Of course it's got 9,000 miles on it, so. I'd say the filter actually did its job. It's I think it's filled with a lot of carbon soot. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So this SuperTech ST version has the metal end caps, which I prefer over, sometimes they have the felt end caps on the ST versions. The MP versions always have the metal end caps. So that's kind of nice there. The bypass valve, I don't understand. It looked kind of flattened to me. Looked like it should be have more of a curve. More like, right, something like that probably. Maybe it just got flattened a little bit. I don't know. And we got the nitro rubber and drain back valve, which looks nice, held up nice, again, you know, held its shape. A lot of inlet holes on the base plate, so that's really nice. Get a good oil flow. And you definitely get a good oil flow with these. <laughs> and the uh, gasket, gasket held up nice. And the can, I had the can sitting like that. Inside the can looks nice and clean. So that's all nice. So I'd say the oil did a good job. And the filter, the filter caught a lot of, I'd say it caught a lot of soot and carbon. And it's inside the filter itself. So can can put uh, 9,000 miles on this filter. But I don't think I'd push it any further than that. If you have a dirtier engine, it might start sludging. Who knows? You know, he has a newer vehicle with only 63,000 miles. So it's still running nice and clean. But I would say for a $4 filter, it did a pretty good job. What do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank Ken for sending me this used SuperTech oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.